The goal of this video is to help you, the organic chemistry student, visualize the equipment, glassware, techniques, and expected outcomes in the organic chemistry lab. Distillation is a common method for the separation of mixtures of liquids and the purification of liquids, and it relies on each compound of a mixture having a distinct boiling point. In this experiment, we will be separating hexane, which has a boiling point of 69 degrees Celsius, from toluene, which has a boiling point of 111 degrees Celsius. In your laboratory locker, you have a microscale kit with all of the glassware components you need to set up your microscale distillation. Begin your fractional distillation setup by attaching your water jacketed condenser to your Hickman still. Each cap is lined with an O-ring and the cap screws on tight. Ground glass joints connect the pieces to one another, the O-ring fits in place, and the cap is screwed on. Before we can attach the fractional column, we must fit it with copper mesh. This copper will serve as our theoretical plates. This is just a fancy term for a surface on which many evaporation condensation events occur. The first vapor to elute at the top of a distillation column is therefore enriched with the lower boiling component. A loose fitting of copper wire is pushed into the condenser using a micro spatula, and any excess copper is trimmed from the top using scissors. Pack the air condenser loosely with copper mesh when you make the fractionating column. If the packing is too dense, the distillation will take an unnecessarily long time. Attach the copper filled air condenser to the Hickman still. The round bottom flask, which will contain your sample, is attached at the bottom. Rest the round bottom flask in the large well of an aluminum block supported by a stirring hot plate and clamp the apparatus in place. Find your thermometer adapter and insert the thermometer. Attach the thermometer adapter to the top of the water jacketed condenser. With a twisting motion, push the thermometer into the distillation apparatus so that the bulb goes all the way down into the neck just below the Hickman head. It helps to squat down to eye level with the Hickman head. Make sure the apparatus is vertical and not tilted. Raise up the apparatus to fill your 10 milliliter round bottom flask. Use your graduated cylinder to measure three milliliters of hexane. Remember that we never pipette directly out of stock bottles because doing so could introduce contamination into the stock. Instead, use a small beaker to transfer a small portion of liquid and measure the desired volume from that portion. Be sure to cap all solvent bottles immediately. We do not want to leave them uncapped in the hood. Use the same process to measure three milliliters of toluene. Add the solvent mixture to your round bottom flask along with a couple of boiling chips. Boiling chips are necessary for heating liquids whenever a stirring device is not used. Without them, we risk bumping and spattering of the mixture. Once the sample is in your 10 milliliter round bottom flask, you may attach it and lower the apparatus back into the aluminum block. It is time to add the water tubes to the water-cooled condenser. You'll see two nozzles on the water-jacketed condenser. The one on the bottom hooks up to the water source, the sink faucet, which is located in the back of the hood.
After connecting that tube, grab another water tube for the top nozzle. Water will flow out of this tube into the drain, also located in the back of the hood. Make sure all of the tubing is connected as tightly as possible to each nozzle. This is a tricky part of the procedure because loose tubes have a tendency to slip off, especially if the water is pumping through at a high pressure. While holding the bottom tube onto its nozzle, slowly turn on the water. Adjust the flow to a very light and steady rate. Turn the heat to a setting of 4 or 5 on the dial. The mixture in the round bottom flask will begin to boil. Note that the temperature reading will stay close to room temperature until vapors have risen all the way through the fractionating column. The Hickman head holds a little over 1 milliliter of distillate. Once about 0.5 mils or half a mil of distillate has collected in the Hickman head, record the temperature in your notebook, uncap the side port of the Hickman head, and quickly transfer the contents of the reservoir with a pipette to a labeled vial. Repeat this procedure of collecting fractions from the Hickman head and recording the temperature at which they were collected. If the temperature decreases, turn up the dial on the hot plate gradually. Continue collecting fractions in this manner until very little liquid remains in the round bottom flask, but do not distill to complete dryness. Turn off the heat and let the apparatus cool down in the hood. The last and final fraction may be collected during cool down. To disassemble the apparatus, make sure it is cool to touch. Turn off the flow of water through the water jacketed condenser. You'll know when the water has stopped because it will cease to flow out of the drain tube. At this point you may reach back and disconnect the water tubing from the faucet. Allow all water to drain out of the condenser by adjusting the height of the tube to accommodate water flow. Take out the thermometer and safely store it in your locker. Then disassemble the apparatus piece by piece, rinse glassware with a small volume of acetone, dry it, and store it in your microscale kit. The water jacketed condenser will have a small amount of water retained in the bottom. Carefully tip it over the drain in the back of the hood to remove the water. Create a graph of temperature versus fraction number using your tabulated data from this experiment. An example of such data is shown here. In our next video, I will share the gas chromatography results of fractions 1, 2, 7, 9, and 10 of this analysis.